Okay, it hasn't gotten annoying yet. So this is Haunted PS1 Demo Disc, which is something that people have been telling me about for the past week or two now. You may say to yourself, well, how did I get here? And the answer is, I, I, uh, you play the games. Almost ready. Okay, so it's a little early for spooky games, or is it? I'm just gonna be playing games at random. This is um, several games that are haunted, and I'm just gonna start with whatever. Wow, it really looks like the original PlayStation 1 demo discs that I had. Put that volume down a bit. Tasty ramen. Okay, so it, it, it opens the game separately. It's a bit of a problem. So that means the volume is going to be wacky for each of these. Uh, I'll see what I can do to make this go smoothly. Okay. Hey, welcome to the special gameplay demo version of Tasty Ramen. Just a quick explanation before we can start. You can grab items by pressing E. You can place them again by pressing E again. Pressing the left mouse button makes you throw them. Remember, thrown items might make noises when they hit the ground. One last thing, if you get tired of the game, escape lets you leave right away. You know this game is good if it's telling you you need to escape right away. Or you may need to. Chat, what was that? That just walked across the room there. That was the tasty ramen, wasn't it? Boy, I remember this game from the PS1. Especially that E button on that PS1 controller. No, 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 friend. You cannot do the- No, friend. FRIEND! Why is it so fast? What? Man, when you are spotted, you cannot run the fuck away. Very difficult to outrun. If possible at all, I'm not sure. Do have two speeds. Yep, you can outrun it. You can. Someone said, hard to be scared when he sounds like Spongebob running around. If only I could crouch, that would make me more... ...stealthy. Hmm. 
Mm. <laughs> 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 God. I got so invested in this. Over that way, yes. Let's go over that way. Where's that last key, chat? Where's that last key? Where's that last key? I see it. I see it. What the fu- What? I hope you enjoyed this gameplay demo. You know, if you want to catch up with the latest development, just go here. Cool. Okay, well that was tasty ramen. I liked it. Dread delusion. In the clockwork god's realm, where state-approved magic is regulated by machines and dark corruption is taking hold. A small-scale open-world RPG. Really? Really? Okay. It's got that PS1 look, as do apparently all of these games. But, uh, that's a good thing. Ah. I, I kind of love it already. stand before the avatar of the clockwork god. It makes abysmal sounds. Abysmal or abyssal? As it connects to the network of machines and magic spread through the, throughout the city. You shift uneasily while you wait. You have no idea why you're here. Being called before an avatar in person is rarely a good thing. Mechanical ana ana um, anatomy? Mad Almighty. Anatomy. Are you fucking kidding me, Vinny? The mechanical anatomy. Shudder. I, for, I was thinking autonomy. I don't... I, the mechanical... Not... <laughs> anatomy. 
shudders and grinds for some time. Sputtering oil and steam, abruptly it stops. Just as you wonder if it's broken, a feather stylus pops out and writes in large angular letters. You are subject number 100. What is that? Like, I don't do. What's the L in Roman numerals? 142? Confirm or deny the confirm. You rec uh, your data requires amending. State your vocation. I am um, a petty enforcer. Root out corrupted citizens in the city, often by force. Physical brawn. You explain how you patrol the streets each day, scouring information, banging on doors, rooting out those tainted with corruption. Not an easy job. Nobody wants to give up their loved ones. But when they know what the divine order will do to them, you've done terrible things to keep the sacred city safe. Not when they know. Oh, I see. I read that wrong. The machines. Is it 3 a.m. yet? Almost. The machine writes, data amended. You've gained a delusion of might. Find the source of the realm's pestilence, which putrefies the soul and makes rotten the harvest. Forever bring an end to this corruption. Failure will result in death by incineration. Oh. Chances of success are none. May the blessing of the clockwork god be with you. Please exit via the portal. This looks awesome. Love the low quality filter so much. What do we have here? Another outcast from the city of shit and steel, no doubt. Tell me, has your god cast you away to die? No. So you're loyal to that heap of metal. You really are a lost cause. Since your people came and built that abomination, the land has been slowly rotting. I'll be keeping an eye on you, outcast. Doppler. PS1 never looked this good, says a chat member. It didn't. But, I mean, it's like Shovel Knight. It amalgamates the experience. Like, it kind of takes a number of things from that time period, and it approximates, rather, the experience and does things better on a technical level. So, not to fuck with the gameplay too much. I like that this is just a style you can choose from now. It's kind of cool. This isn't how it was, but how you remembered it. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Town of Hallow, many my peoples were never allowed past its walls. We natives have been here since the world forging. Even as we starved, this town kept us out. In the end, when its people writhed in strange agonies, they locked it up and discarded the key in the tower up there. Apparently, you can spend, you know, quite a while playing some of these games, so... Obviously, this is gonna be a two-parter. But I figured it would be good to start part one tonight. Tower has sustained significant damage. Would you like to engage automatic repairs? Yes. Upgrades are disabled in the demo. Have a nice day. So there's the key, there's... You are illiterate requires two mind to read. Never has a game called me out so badly before. Let's see what's going on in this town. Some garbage. Oh, I like garbage. I think I see an enemy that must be purged. I like that. Returns caster to the hallow, but at the cost of an affliction. With nothing equipped, select control, then cast RMB. Uh, okay. That's interesting. 
Oh, I see. Yes, I see. One coin. I, I love the style of this so much. Someone said Telly to Lumby. Is that a fucking RuneScape reference? I don't actually know if I can attack right now, but I did see something very interesting in the distance. Fucking computer tower? That's a little anachronistic. I like it. That's the kind of anachronist I like. Weird airship. This world building, just <laughs> through visual storytelling, is so good. Chat, what a potion of stamina. Oh, I see. It restores your stamina. over just yet. Are these being made into real full games? I think maybe. I don't know. I mean, that other one was clearly still being developed. R, okay. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I think some of these games are probably going to end up being continued, and some might not be. Some probably were made just for the demo disc compilation, but uh, this is... This is truly wonderful. I don't know how much there is to do, but I'm already into it. Are you lost? Now, I can't tell if that was an Active Worlds reference, or if it was you genuinely asking me if I'm lost in the game, because both. Now, let me discuss the social-political ramifications of this game world, and how the Arcana Punk atmosphere- Oh shit, it's 3 a.m. Hi everybody, how you doing? I got real smooth. 3 a.m. brain, how you doing? A friendly face, thank the clockwork god. I was thrown from my airship. One of those things got on board. I was ordered by its grace, no less, to clear out the brigands and thieves currently squatting in the hollow town tavern. Here, our spy found a way in. Kill them, make merry with them. I don't care anymore. I failed. My data will be erased from the esteemed archives. In the end, it was just as its grace predicted. You guys thought that looked like me? Well, I was the knight? Oh. I really am like every white dude with a beard. As you clasp the door handle, your head throbs, your vision blurs, and a bitter taste rises in the back of your throat, telltale signs of an illusion taking hold. You're still atop a hill with the sacred city in the distance, but now the neuron star burns golden in a blue sky. Above a glittering multitude of machines, towers, skyships, fairy grain, and goods overhead propelled by faultless cipher magic, you recognize this realm commission propaganda, a utopic vision to draw colonists here from the old kingdoms. Clearly. Machine Knight towers over you, the voice emanating from its sealed helmet, shrouded in static. State your business. It leans closer. You're not from the Divine Order, are you? Claim that you are, in fact, from the Divine Order. You straighten your back, affix a purposeful glare, and attest that you are, in fact, from the Divine Order. The Machine Knight almost seems to flinch. You don't have any proper insignias, it ponders, but you could always be an Order spy. There's no way to tell either way, the Machine Knight concludes. You'd better come up and speak in person. You've, ex you've succeeded in a challenge of might. The illusion vanishes with its silver leaning. 
crimson in the sky. You pass into the tower and up its dark stairway, entering the top chambers like stepping onto a turbulent ship. The whole room full of strange apparatus periodic periodically turns on the spot, shaking everything with furious rattle. Automated telescopes pierce through a gaping window, watching the shifting horizon. It's a lot of words. Um, a scribe is hunched over at an array of ink bottles which spill their glowing liquid whenever the room lurches. The figure turns to face you, weary eyes buried in a gaunt face. Don't touch anything, he mutters. It's the voice of the machine knight. So much feebler now. Inquire about the corruption. The corruption, says the scribe, distorts everything that it touches, but we have no idea what causes it. He turns his attention to a plant in a glass jar which throbs strangely. I knew an associate who theorized it was our own cipher, paradoxes of the magic in our great city which damaged the very fabric of reality. He swallows. But the associate was flayed and chopped into five pieces for blasphemy. I'm ashamed to have known such a heretic. The scribe hunched over an array of ink bottles which spill their glowing liquid whenever the room lurches. The figure um, turns to face you, weary eyes buried in a gaunt face. Don't touch anything. He mutters. It's the voice of a machine knight, so much feebler now. Ask for his help. I'm just gonna skip through some of this. I'm sorry, everybody. I hope you don't mind. I again, it's just um at the moment, I gotta go fast. It's Sunday stream. I gotta go fast. Got my first sward. Now I can purge. This lock could be broken. Oh, I can fix it. I just want to see a little bit more of this because this is genuinely intriguing and if I can get some people to play this game maybe and check it out for themselves, that would be, uh, that would be fine. I don't know if I would necessarily come back to this and stream the whole thing, but... You know, something tells me this is going to happen a lot during this, um... Haunted PS1... Demo disc, where the games are going to be so good that people are going to want me to stream the whole thing. This one's called Dread Delusion, I think. Oh, shit, I'm out of stamina. I mean, the gameplay is just super simple. You, know, you don't really need to do much, you just need to right-click, manage your health, your stamina, your potions. It works. I don't know how long it is, but it's timed. The unlocked EA version is on his Patreon, according to one of the screens. Okay. What fucking... F with a sword and strength, this would break. Such great atmosphere. What? A I, I fucking love this, but I do have to move on. Otherwise, you're on your own, then you're truly fucked. Yes! Get fucked! Sorry. <laughs> The writing is really good, too. I know I skipped some dialogue, but... I thought the writing was really... intriguing. Alright. That's cool. That's cool. Dread Delusion. Once again, I'd probably really recommend that. Let's continue to Snowy Castle. Navigate the castle grounds to relight candles in this atmospheric exploration game. Ooh, that seems kind of fun. I 
I know that sound anywhere. That's that's the uh, <laughs> default Unity footstep sound. So, finally awake. I'm still amazed you managed to sleep through all this wind. Keeps me up at night. Who said that? Why don't you go make yourself useful? Light the candles around the castle. Balls. Oh, I'm out of, uh, out of fire now. Just about. I use this fire to reignite my fire? No. And this would have been, like, the best Spooptober stream. So, Spooptober has come early this year, chat. Some big-ass snow. Damn, you've got some big-ass feet. Float. It's weird. Um, I do like the effect, but not being able to see very far has its drawbacks. Same as it ever was. I'll be hunted like a slender friend kind of game, but I just don't know what kind of game this is. Can't just be light the candles, right? Maybe it is. Maybe it's just that. Maybe there is no demon or ghosts. Maybe no slender friend. Chasing me, nothing like that. Maybe it's just a nice game where you walk around and you light up the candles. I mean, it did say it was exploration. You know what's gonna happen, though? I'm gonna get to, like, 23 candles. And that last one is just going to be a mystery. This is a little bit more of a bare-bones... ...exploration game, as opposed to the previous one, which had a lot of lore and world-building. Not that this isn't neat and... ...doesn't build, like, atmosphere. It does. I like this. But, you know, coming from that other game, this is not... It's, it's not quite... ...as detailed. And... I'm already... ...lost. <laughs> I guess we're going back here.
Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have to do a lot of backtracking to get the rest of these candles. I'm calling them candles, I don't really know what else to call them. Torches? Um... Bra braziers? Brazers? Brazi braziers? The game called them candles, then they are candles. The compass thing gets a bigger flame the closer you are to one. Oh! Oh. So that means that there's one around here. I mean, it, this could take another five to ten minutes, so... I don't know, chat. I don't know. Hmm. Something weird is going on. Like, I feel a sense of... Accomplishment. Pride and accomplishment, like a reward every time I find a new area. Even though there isn't really much to this game, it leads to some interesting... ...feelings of, like, accomplishment when you get to a new area that you hadn't seen before. At this point, considering there's only... ...five left... Hoping the other four are up here, and I don't have to go back down and find one missing candle. That door doesn't open. Three left. That door does open, but... I promise the ending of this game is going to be rewarding and amazing. No sunken cost fallacy here. Nope. No, sir. Just got to find that one last one. this way, chat. I know it. I feel it. In my bones. In my scones. Oh, fuck. God, where is it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Missed one not far from here. Okay, well, I'll keep... Keep this out. Nope. You blinded when you first went outside. Okay, so it's outside. That's confirmed? Is it... Maybe up here? spend another 60 seconds to 120 seconds. One to two minutes. A full one to two minutes. Oh, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. 
24 out of 24. 25 out of 24? No, that's not how that works. That's kind of disturbing. Vinny, you can't see the shadow thing. There was a shadow thing? Vinny, the shadow was with you in there. Uh, well, that was fun. Sauna 2000. Sauna warming simulator feel Finland. Finland feels you. I mean, if you say so. Sauna 2000. Chop wood. Carry water from the lake to salt. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I just did like a Swedish thing. <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't Finland. Oh, this has got the nice texture warping. This looks more PS1. With like a little extra crust. Less blurry, but I think Yako's accent. Welcome to this is Sound simulator. Boom. 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 Kirbis. Where is my axis? I cut the wood. You go and pull and go a sauna pulch. Okay. Here, there's logs, all right. Liian kiirele. Parempi täällä tätä hetkiä kerralla pörkele. I love this dude. Liian kiirele. Parempi täällä tätä hetkiä kerralla pörkele. What an amazing voice and language this is. I, I love this. Kerralla pörkele. Pörkele. Liian kiirele. Parempi täällä tätä hetkiä kerralla pörkele. Demo version. Did that one wood just go through the floor? Collect wood into the carrier. Um. Oh yes, the carrier. Shit the saunal. What? Wait a bit, they're going to end up with the sauna alka. Is that the emperor police? What is going on? The demon turned the radio on. I'm looking for the 
goddamn bucket. This is a bucket, no? Yeah, it just didn't... Oh, that's a bucket. Oh, that's a bucket. Oh, that's a I feel like I'm really there, listening to water moving around. Splish splash. Welcome to the hydraulic press channel. Se oli kisiin. Tästä tulee ihan tarpeeksi kuumaa kylpyvettä. Water actually kind of scared me a little bit for a second. And games like this are why the PS1 the best. No me, no wit. But there's a lot of steps to a sauna that I was totally unaware of. I would one day like to own a sauna. And when I say a sauna, I mean like, you know the size of an outhouse that can fit like one person you know what i mean like just and just make it hot and that's it those exist <laughs> I too enjoy the experience of just being hot in a room for an hour. Look at your Liam Monest. Oh, that's poop. Speaking of outhouses. Getting dark chat where the matches. Someone said UFO porno? No, that's not UFO porno. Yeah, it kind of is UFO porno. It's, it's like an alien on the cover of that magazine. I guess UFO porno was a meme. I had no idea. The fuck? Chat, chat, chat. I need the matches. Where are the matches, chat? Where are the matches? Oh, oh my god. This is fucked up! Wha- what? <laughs> Wait a minute!
playing myself in a video game, I guess. Uh... In. <laughs> Wait, I'm the killer now? That was kind of amazing. That was really, really fucking well done. Chat, was there ever really even a way to find the matches? Someone said there was more to it. Heti sauna lämmityksen ennen kuin aurinko laskee. Do it fast now. I mean... Mihinköhän sen kirjuveen tuuppasin? I mean, I know how to do it. Match on top shelf of sauna. I don't know where the axe is now. It's randomized? Oh, fuck. This is already going very poorly. I'm gonna exit this one. I'm gonna start again real quick. I really want to see what's going on with this thing. There's more to explore outside this area. Oh, okay. Heti sauna lämmityksen ennen kuin aurinko laskee. Let me look one more time around here. Mihinköhän sen kirjuveen tuuppasin? Any axes over here? No. So go down the road a little bit. I had very, very good luck with the axe location the first time around. Wow, that texture warping. If you look at it, like, I know it's easy to focus on the horizon, but just give the texture warping a good look at. Okay, there's an area over there that you can't go to because demo, <laughs> demo version. But, I wonder what it's like in the full version. Good Yeah, I could take a dump. Alright, then take, it's time to take a dump. It's gonna be fine, chat. I got this. Liian kiireellä. Parempi tähdä tätä hetkiä kerralla, perkele. Liian kiireellä. 
Parempi tähdätä hetkiä kerralla, perkele. Now that's way faster than before. Oh, 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 oh. Don't just ignore it. Don't pay attention. Don't pay attention to it. Don't even, don't even pay attention to it. Okay, gotta do that three more times. Um, I don't see any... I'm looking for matches. I don't see any matches. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna get stuck on the matches again, aren't we? Matches on the top shelf. You saw it? Top shelf of the first room. I see them, I see them. No me, no wit. The fucking monster. You were a good checker, him, but that but do it. Missed the two camber that only. Behold the puppy hole. How the fuck do you come up with a game concept like this? Like, oh yeah, I wanna... It's just, uh, you know, dude putting a sauna together. And a monster chases him. Finland, Finland, Finland. The country where I'd like to be. something else. Oh. That those are hatches? If you oh yeah, I suppose they are. <laughs> you died of smoke and not a monster. I'm writing a very angry letter, said someone in chat. Got to fill the throwing water and then I'm ready. I don't understand, chat. What does that mean? This. I'm pressing buttons. Okay. Some weird jank. Beers and towel are at the car? What? There's more? The changing room, is that the changing room chat? Or is that the... Fuck! This is It says go to the sauna. Okay, I'm in the sauna. Take off clothes before sauna. Cha, how does one take off the clothes? Take a beer and enjoy the sauna.
We're good. I'm enjoying the sauna. I'm enjoying it. It's great. I love it. No, oh, I'm having fun. I love it. You know, this is nice. Anytime, I got more beers in the car if you want them. Yeah, I built this myself, dude. good time we ha we had a good time you know just having a beer with your worst nightmare the manifestation of your fear and your darkest pain let's have a beer and jump in the sauna a little bit That was nice. Filth breed. Insomnio. Dead heat. Killer bees. Until big light. Effigy. Erasure. 
Fatum, Betula, Heartworm, Neko Yume, Orange County, Ode to a Moon, A Place Forbidden, still remain. There will be a part two. I'm sorry to say I cannot do a part two tonight. I cannot even continue and do one more game tonight because it is a quarter to four. Um, and there's a lot of stuff that remains undone. At least I finished the fucking 3DO segment. But some of those were amazing. And I'm very much looking forward to playing more of those. So expect part two in a week or two. Uh, someone said, "Ah, oh, come on, Vinny. I, I need to sleep. It's 3.44 a.m. This is when the stream ends. Part two, another time. Yes! Get fucked! Could be next Sunday. Whenever it is, it's going to be good. So expect off-peak to be continued during the week, and the PS1 demo disc could be next Sunday. Enjoy GoldenEye music while we do the art. Thank you for joining. First one from Jory. Here's some Chrono Trigger art. Luca's radio communication device. Who will she call? Who does she call? Does it work? I don't know. I like the art. No one else has one. Maybe Robo. Um, this one's from Dinky. My name is Mr. Video Games. That's me. John Video Games. That's pretty cool. Floosh made this. Vine sauce, vine shrooms. Warning, this product is not fit for human consumption and is federally regulated as paint stripper. It causes brain rot, vines coming out of the ass. Muppet hands, vertigo. Limited speech, smooth brain, CBT, technical difficulties, corruption, strokes, and common causes, death. Common cases, in common cases, death. Right. Thank you, Floosh. It's my favorite, most tastiest fruit. <laughs> fruit? Fruit snack. Uh... Dreykior? Not really sure how to say that, but it's me with some ducks. And I see a meat there, too. Very nice. Sukaku made this. I'm not saying it again. Don't take that out of context. A few hours later, it's exactly taken out of context. It's not like it wasn't expected. Someone said, I make the jam... Uh, jam? What? I make the John insert meme here all the time in real life, but nobody gets it or laughs. Certain things do not apply very well outside of the internet. Or outside of this stream in particular, like John Space Marine. John Cigarette, CEO of Cigarette Corporate. We're all just very easily amused. And I would argue that many of us don't find any of my jokes funny. So, you know, there's some of us out there that don't think John jokes is funny. But I would probably hold off on expecting a laugh from the dumb shit we say here. Like, brain rot is probably only front funny to, like, you know, seven people. But good luck if you attempt it. I, you're brave. Braver than I. This one's from Grinty Grind Sauce. The fucking Kermit hand again? It's not even Kermit, it's just the hand. Like, it's barely Kermit. 
Someone said they do the John thing and they got a laugh out of it, so that's that's fine then. I guess it's how you deliver it. Uh, anyway, nice job with that Kermit. Here's one from Changwin. Some art of me, and I'm partially in a spacesuit, but not all of me is in the spacesuit. Sometimes I wish I was in space. Great colors. Really appreciate this art. Here's one from Grinty Grind Sauce. Here's another weird Krusty Kermit. Sunday, February 10th. Thank you, Krusty Kermit. I don't know why he's holding up the calendar. Oh, that's Monday. Wait a minute. <laughs> I see. We call the Sunday stream Sunday streams, even though it's only half hour of Sunday in the East Coast. Here's one from Puckspark. Yeah, I don't know. Again, this is something that I just, I have no idea about. Here's one from Puckspark as well. There's, it's a BRB version. And Perfect Dark has such a great soundtrack. You can use that. Here's one from Silky. Vine Lost in the Vine Sauce. The Crystal Head Vodka. The Domingos. Yesterday was a very, very weird fucking day for me. My stream was extra trashy yesterday. Misfit Boy made this. Misfit Boy. Doesn't scale very well. Uh, it needed to probably be like double the size to make it a little less blurry, but it's really cool. So, nice work. Here's one from Sin City Assassin. <laughs> That fucking hand meme. I, I still don't know what the fuck that 3DO was doing. Purple Scarf made this. Plugged into Sunday. <laughs> are those- what- what are those on- on my neck? Are those like spo what are they called on- on cars? Spoilers? Muffl I guess mufflers, exhaust pipes. What the fuck is a spoiler? Shinyo. Shinyo Washawat. I don't know how to say these names. I really don't. Shinyo Shawat made this. Yao Biach. Okay. <laughs> you say so. I like that the hands are meat, though. I give you credit. Spoiler is the wing on top of a truck. There you go. Shows you how much I know, I know about cars. I don't know a lot about cars. I know about Ford and Ferrari. Got a couple more. This one is from Cryptid Kitten. Here's the weird hand thing with the Panasonic 3DO again, except the hand reminds me a lot of Master Hand. One of those games had a lady named Biatch in it. Oh, I forgot about that. There was... That's right, there was someone named Biatch. Alright. Alright, anyway. Weird Panasonic 3DO intros aside. I really like this art. I like this one a lot too, from Colo Draws. This is the creepy tickle clown from earlier. <laughs> Please, God, no! Please, God, no. Yeah, we must, um, 
avoid all tickle clowns at any cost. This one's from T Man. Vinny, that one artist's name was, was Shiny Oshawott. Oh, I get it, because it's a Pokemon. Shiny. Without, like, spacing in a name, if it's all just one word, I get confused. This is, by the way, very disturbing, and it's also based on that one game I played where the ducks literally had their fucking guts and rib cages exposed. That's true for anyone that didn't see it. And so, yeah. A little disturbing. Bidding music, yep. And here's one from Purple Scarf. I, I... I think... I think maybe the Kermit memes have started getting a little weird. Maybe not started, but have been getting a little weird for a little while now. Nice job, Kermit. Someone said Chrono tonight. Oh no. No, no, no. This isn't- this is bedtime for Vinny. Uh, the Sunday stream is over. Chrono will be sometime next week. As in, like, maybe tomorrow or Tuesday. Alright, I'm done. Uh, thank you for watching. It's all been a, a very interesting night. I think pretty much everything I played tonight, I was able to maintain some high level of interest in. And, uh, looking forward to Off-Peak City. And I'm also looking forward to more of that... Demo Disc Collection. And I've got lots of good Sunday material. Chat, you've been very good at providing good, interesting things to stream for Sundays. And, uh... It's been a journey. It has been. So... I'll see you during the week with more Spyro 2. With more Chrono Trigger. Off-Peak. Maybe a Hades stream for real. And... Who the hell knows what else? So, take it easy, and... Good night. If you want to watch some other streamers, when I'm not around, you can watch Twitch.tv. <laughs> Thank you, Dave, for linking this video. I'll be playing this on the way out. Um, Twitch.tv slash team slash Vinesauce or Vinesauce.com, or of course, as I always say, wait here for the auto host, which takes you to pretty much everybody that helps me out on this channel here. A lot of good people, a lot of good friends, and uh, you might find a streamer entertaining. You might even throw them a follow if you want. You don't have to. Do whatever, you def do whatever you want. I'm not asking you for much. You don't even have to watch my streams if you don't want to, but I appreciate you all. Artists and everyone else. Mods, subs, non-subs, just anyone. Thanks for stopping by. Good night, and see you tomorrow. Look at that! It's like a bison's penis! What is that? I just need to know why no one laughs. Like, there's. Okay, hang on a minute. A bison's penis, and nobody is laughing. Look at that! It's like a bison's penis! What is that? Look! Stone faced! They probably know that if they laugh, they get. They get kicked off the show. They have to hold it back. They're they're afraid. Look at that. Stone cold frozen salmon. Who put the salmon in the freezer? Me. I f it up. The salmon was seven minutes. Yeah.